Good evening, voters. What we have tonight may sound like a small story about a school principal gone crazy. But it is much, much more than that. And it is much, much more worrying. It will make you sit back and think if we as a country have lost our path. So listen carefully to this story. In a municipal school in our national capital, Hindu and Muslim children are being segregated. They are being made to sit in different classes. Can you imagine that? This has gone on for almost three months now before we reported about it. Some say the children had to be separated. And this is the defense being given by many in the school itself. That the children had to be separated because they were fighting too much with each other. Because they had converted into actual physical fights between these children on the basis of their religion. Young minds, some of them are not even teenagers, fighting because someone eats meat and others don't. Fighting because they are from different cultures. And the principal solution, the in charge of this school who's taught for over a decade, that person's solution was to segregate them. Just end of fight. Let the Hindus study separately and the Muslims study separately. Is this what we are drilling in our young minds? That religious differences matter? That all around them, there are already these netas who are bickering over Hindu versus Muslim. We see these debates on media going on and on about Hindu versus Muslim. And when these little children go to school wearing a uniform, the point of which, by the way, is to ensure that they are all equal, they're all treated equal, they all feel the same. They're assigned different sections based on whether the child is a Hindu or a Muslim. Who is fueling this communal hatred so much in our country? Isn't it time to stay stop? That's the big question. छोटा बच्चा उससे तो पता नहीं क्या क्या है क्या नहीं तो कहता है कि वो स्कूल में पूछ रहे थे कि तुम मुसलमान हो तुम अलग बैठो टीचर की सोच ऐसी है उस एजुकेशन के इंचार्ज ने ही इतना गलत काम किया है कि पहली से लेकर पांचवी क्लास के हर क्लास के अंदर अलग अलग डिवीजन कर दिया है कैथा वाली बात है ना फिर तो ये हाँ तो इससे ठीक नहीं है बच्चे आपस में लड़ते रहते हैं सर बोलते हैं ना इसलिए अलग ही बिठाते हैं उनको ये तो गलत है ये तरीके ही गलत है कोई भी सुनेगा तो गलत ही कहेगा As shocking it might sound, but this is the reality at one of the schools run by the North Delhi Municipal Corporation. Students are segregated into different sections based on their religion. One such school run by the Municipal Corporation is making the Hindu children sit separate from the Muslim ones. In fact, when we've checked the registers, there are entries of children being written down in numbers with their caste being written next to them. Mira now went on ground to check the reality, and this is what we found out. अब से अलग बैठ रहे हो आप? दो महीनों से. क्या बोला टीचर ने आपको? टीचर बोला कि हिंदू मुस्लिम अलग बैठे हैं क्योंकि लड़ाई करते हैं वो. We then spoke to the in charge of the school, followed by the principal, who rubbished the allegations. हाँ, नहीं बिठाया जा रहा. आपको ये मतलब मैं तो टीचर हुआ ऐसे टीचर ऐसे. स्कूल इंचार्ज हमारे स्कूल में कोई नहीं है ऐसा ही हम तो सब मिल मतलब मिलके ही रहते हैं और बच्चे भी आप क्लास में पूछना चाहते हैं तो बच्चे भी मेरी बात पर यदि आपको जैसे इनफॉरमेशन मिली है मैं तो मेरा स्कूल है मैं तो जो कुछ बोलूंगी अपने भी हाथ पर बोलूंगी लेकिन आप क्लास में भी जाकर पूछ सकते Thank you, thank you. Sir, आपको लगता है कि आपने segregation करके students के साथ अच्छा किया है, sir हमें सिखाया जाता है कि हर बच्चे को एक साथ नहीं आप आप जबरदस्ती क्यों मुंह में उंगलियां डाल रहे हो जो नहीं please आपसे इतना बता दीजिए कि आपने segregation मुझे कुछ नहीं कहना ना मुझे मैं अधिकारी नहीं हूँ कोई बयान देने के लिए but once the truth was out, mayor of North Delhi Municipal Corporation was forced to suspend the school in charge and initiate an inquiry. जो भी दोषी होगा उसके � for months, the children in the school went to a specific class based on whether they were Hindu or Muslim. We are told they fought amongst each other because they were different. 
what is fueling this heat in the young minds of India? The debate begins now. Let's say good evening to our panelists. Akshay Marathi, spokesperson for the Amadmi Party, Firoz Bakht Ahmed, an educationist, Kamal Mitra Chanoy, also an educationist, Piyush Pan, senior journalist, Professor Rajvi Sharma, also joining us this evening, and uh, we will have Adesh Gupta, uh, the BJP mayor for North MCD. In fact, he's true with us right now. Good evening, Mr. Adesh Gupta. I'm going to start with you. Can you tell us when you came, found out about this segregation? And what have you done so far about it? Gupta ji, aapko meri awaz aa rahi hai? Haan ji. Ji, mera sawaal aap se, aapko kab pada chala is mamle mein, ke baare mein, ki aisa school mein bachchon ko alag alag karke padaya ja raha hai, aur abhi tak kya karwai hui hai, aapke investigation mein kya paya hai? Dekhiye, mein aapko yeh batana chata hoon, कि आज जब सुबह समाचार पत्रों के माध्यम से ये बात मुझे पता लगी उसके बाद मैंने तुरंत ही अपने शिक्षा विभाग के जो हमारे डायरेक्टर इंस्पेक्टर्स हैं उनको जांच के लिए भेजा और जांच कमेटी एक गठित की और जो वहाँ इंसिडेंट हुआ है जिस तरह से वहाँ के जो एक्टिंग प्रिंसिपल हैं उन्होंने जिस तरह से बच्चों को अलग अलग करके इस तरह की जो काम किया है उसकी जांच की और उसके बाद अभी फिलहाल हम उस जांच को दो तरीके से ले रहे हैं एक जांच जो प्रशासनिक लापरवाही हुई है और जो प्रशासनिक चूक की है प्रिंसिपल तो हमने इमीडिएट अपने जो एक्टिंग जो प्रिंसिपल हैं उनको उसको सस्पेंड कर दिया है विद मेजर पेनल्टी और इसके बाद भी हमारी जाँच लगातार जारी है क्योंकि ये एक ऐसा मुद्दा है उत्तरी दिल्ली नगर निगम लगातार पूरे अपने क्षेत्र में साढ़े सात सौ विद्यालय चलाता है आज तक कभी भी कोई ऐसी घटना नहीं हुई जहां पर धर्म के आधार पर हम कोई बांटने का काम करते हैं तो ये बड़े मुझे इसमें ऐसा लगता है कि जो प्रशासनिक चूक हुई उसके खिलाफ तो कार्रवाई करेंगे ही लेकिन इसके इसमें मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि कोई ना कोई जरूर ऐसी साजिश है जो निगम को बदनाम करने की हो सकती है अच्छा, या अच्छा। हमारे जो हमारा जो एजेंडा है सबको साथ लेने के हम अल्पसंख्यक छात्रों को वजीफा भी देते हैं तो ठीक तो है अगर आप ठीक है कैसे को, आई जो है ये तरह तो वो भी हम वहाँ पे जाके एक एक आध रजिस्टर के जो पेज हमारे रिपोर्टर को दिखे वो देखे लेकिन मैं आपसे ये कंफर्म करना चाहती हूँ कि जो रजिस्टर्स की अभी इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो रही है क्या उसमें ऐसे लिखा है क्लास वन ए and viewers note this class 1a 36 hindus class 1b 36 muslims class 2a the second standard a section 47 hindus class 2b 26 <coughs> muslims 15 hindus class 2c 40 muslims and this goes on and on the segregation ye kaisa hi hai jo registers mein likha hai ki aapki aapke investigation mein yahi aapke afsaron ne paya ki aisa ho raha tha kyunki wo bacche aapas mein lad rahe the नहीं अभी उस जांच की पूरी रिपोर्ट नहीं आई है लेकिन जो प्राइमा फेसी पाया है उसमें प्रधानाचार्य की गलती अगर उन्होंने हिंदू मुस्लिम छात्रों को अलग बिठाया है मेरा जो प्रशासनिक जो दायरा है उसमें हमने तुरंत ही प्रिंसिपल को सस्पेंड किया है मेजर पेनल्टी के साथ और इसके बाद की जो जांच है वो उस दायरे से बाहर है वो ये दायरा है कि आखिर कौन सी क्योंकि हम सात पचास विद्यालय चलाते हैं और ये कोई कॉन्स्परेसी का हिस्सा हो सकता है सात सौ पचास विद्यालयों की निगरानी कौन रखता है उसकी जिम्मेदारी फॉलोड और इंडिविजुअली टीचर्स एंड प्रिंसिपल आर टीचिंग चिल्ड्रेन हाउ टू डिवाइड हाउ टू हेट दो अदर कम्युनिटी हु इज कीपिंग अ चेक ऑन दिस पूरा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है जिसमें डायरेक्टर से लगा के इंस्पेक्टर तक जो स्कूल को करते हैं और उसमें हम पूरी तरह से सबको जांच के दायरे में ले रहे हैं जो भी व्यक्ति जिसने भी साजिश की है 
और मुझे जो चीज़ें पता लग रही हैं उसमें कई चीज़ें निकल के आ रही लोग पॉलिटिकली मोटिवेटेड होकर जिस तरह से आज निगम में भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार है तो वो कहीं ना कहीं अपना मौका ऐसा ढूंढ रहे हैं कि वो बदनाम करने की साजिश रच रहे हैं आपके पास उसी का एक हिस्सा हो सकता आपके है। पास पूरी रिपोर्ट नहीं आ जाती कम से कम तब तक तो गंदी पॉलिटिक्स मत खेलिए बच्चों के फ्यूचर की बात चल रही है बच्चों को आप लोग ने तोड़ दिया हिंदू मुस्लिम बोल के अलग अलग क्लास में और आप यहाँ बैठ के मुझे बोल रहे की ये पोलिटिकल साजिश है जबकि इन्वेस्टिगेशन खत्म भी नहीं हुआ है थोड़ा तो बच्चों के बारे में सोचिए आपको बताना चाहता हूँ की निगम निगम ये चीज निगम इस तरह की कोई भी काम नहीं करता है क्योंकि ना तो हम बच्चों के अंदर हिंदू मुसलमान या जाति मजहब का भेज करते हैं ना करना बस आपने ऐसे ऐसे आदमी को आप प्रिंसिपल बना दिया जिन्होंने ये किया ओके अदर पैनलिस्ट गुप्ता जी बने रही है हमारे साथ दूसरों की भी बात सुन लेते हैं somebody managed to become in charge of a school who is this bigoted in his thought whose only solution to children fighting was to separate them in the name of religion the other issue is and if it is true that the children were fighting amongst themselves and calling names to each other on the basis of whether you are a meat eater or a cow meat eater or of a different religion then these are young minds who are talking like this 8 year olds 10 year olds That's a larger concern, Mr. Chennai. What do you think? Well, look. Number one, um, the fact that there's one school or ten schools or fifteen schools is not quite the point. The point is that in one nigam school, uh, there is someone who is acting as uh, the principal, who has done the opposite of what schooling is supposed to do, which is to bring everyone together. Dis. Uh, irrespective of religion caste um maintenance allowance etc and that is how school should function so the gentleman from the nigam is right that yes this is something which is a deviation but he also has to explain how come this deviation took place and how long this took and what are the measures that they're going to take to make sure this does not happen because any democracy wants the children to know about every other kind of society other children other ways that they think the the way they enter spurs with each other and if this has been the case that they have been fighting obviously there has been a lack of getting people together getting children together otherwise they wouldn't fight mm. now if this is the only case well it's very bad because this case might become a case for other schools also so this must be nipped in the bud and there must be a situation or a technique of once every week or once every two weeks someone coming and checking and making sure the school is running in harmony and is not divided exactly uh, because and they divided they can't get a true education yes and and, and if the even if they are not even if their reasons to fight was something else here you have told them because you are different you sit in different uh, different classes they going to start thinking like that firoz bakht ahmed kya impact ho sakta hai bachcho pe chote bachcho pe uh, jab unko is basis pe alag kar diya jaye mujhe laga 2018 mein hum कास्ट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन को हटाने की बात करेंगे कि स्कूल में एडमिशन के लिए किसी की कास्ट भी ना पूछी जाए और उस बेसिस पे उसको ट्रीट ना किया जाए और यहां हम देख रहे हैं कि धर्म के नाम पे हो रहा है अह एग्जैक्टली तन्वी लेट मी फर्स्ट कांग्रेचुलेट योर चैनल दैट यू हैव एक्चुअली फोकस ऑन दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इशू ऑफ एजुकेशन नाउ लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग यू नो देयर इज एन ओल्ड सेइंग अबाउट टीचर्स दैट no one knows where the impact of a teacher stops it might go to eternity teachers have to be that way and unfortunately they don't have to be like what this principal sahib is at the school in my view i think 
that this principal, whatever his name is, he need to be schooled again. He has to go to school again to teach the children, uh, you know, uh, not to uh, uh, not to go into the path of Hindus and Muslims, but communal concord, <coughs> right? He needs to be counselled. And uh, you know, uh, another thing, you know, I think they are trying to uh, just pass the buck over by saying that. Children were fighting amongst each other. Now, mm. this is also a very dangerous thing. Yes. Uh, why should the children uh, at this level, five-year-olds, ten-year-olds, why should they fight? I think the entire school, including the principal and the entire staff, they need some counselling. And let me tell you, I can offer my services since I am a Delhiite. I can go to that school, talk to the kids there. Whatever uh, uh, you know, atmosphere is maligned there. You know, parity should be restored. There is, in India, India has never been a land of Hindus or Muslims, Sikhs or Christians. It is a land, as the Prime Minister says, it is a land of all those people who live here. And all the people have to go together. And it was shocking for me the way this thing has happened. So India is a land of all the people. They live in harmony. And that is the message which should be given to the children. Now, one more thing uh, before I t take leave. Uh, you see, if you are going, uh, what I suggest to the principal is if he continues, but mm. I think he has been suspended and let me uh, congratulate uh, Sandesh Gupta for this. Mm. He has taken a very, uh, very stern and the desired action. So I, I appreciate uh, Sandesh for this. Apart from this, children should be taught of, of all uh, religions. Muslims should be told about <coughs> Diwali, Hindus should, should be told about Muharram and Eid and likewise uh, about uh, you know this Christmas, about uh, uh, Guru yes. Pura. So this kind of education look, should be taken at this level so that children when they grow up then they do not fight with, with each other. There is a lot of room for each and everyone. No, and I am also concerned, uh, uh, this man has been made in charge of the school. Hmm. Akshay Marathe in government schools, in civic body run schools, is there a check of who gets to what level, what is that person's capability, what is that person's own view, thought process as a teacher. He obviously would have been a teacher for at least over a decade. <laughs>
communal politics that the BJP has been practicing in Delhi, in Delhi and in India. So but I don't is, know. I don't wish to politicize this. Yes. Don't get me wrong. All I am saying See, is, is that this is not your political agenda. There is an please. impact. This there is, is an impact do not, uh, of, of politics it. on on our education. Focus your views on education there only. Is, there is an impact. There is an impact of of our politics. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. There is an impact of our politics on our government systems and our education system. Let's not Who be is supposed denial. to keep a check Let's so not say that on there is no these schools? Education. Is there a specific have, body that keeps seen, a check what on this? this Akshay, school is a direct, is a direct, is a direct result will, of the communal politics of the BJP. See, Let's not I be I will denial. come to that aspect in just see, a you bit. You should leave behind your Amadmi party at your home or office. Okay. No, I'm asking party here, please. Yes, Adesh Gupta. Listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. Adesh Gupta, please. Adesh Gupta. Let's not live in a school world where you think that the BJP's communal politics has had no impact on this. We give scholarships to the children who are the minority. There is no kind of problem. We don't have any policy in our schools. We don't have any policy in our schools. And we have the vision of the Prime विजन है ये भेदभाव नहीं है सबका साथ सबका विकास उसको ये भेदभाव नहीं लेकिन ये भेदभाव नहीं है इसको इसको कहते हैं है, 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 अलग सोच तो उसके इस... लिए हमने उसको आदेश गुप्ता जी दिस इज नॉट भेदभाव दिस इज कॉल्ड डिफरेंस इन व्यू दैट यू सी द अदर पर्सन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम यू दिस इज द सेम एज विनय कटियार ऑफ द बीजेपी कमिंग आउट एंड सेइंग मुस्लिम्स हैव नो बिजनेस इन स्टेइंग इन इंडिया एंड दे शुड गो टू पाकिस्तान और बांग्लादेश दैट ओनली आर टेंपल विल एग्जिस्ट एंड द पिलर्स दैट एग्जिस्ट अराउंड इट विल स्टैंड दिस इज द सेम एज ज्ञानदेव आहूजा ऑफ बीजेपी सेइंग इफ यू स्मगल इन वाटर क्लाउड काउस देन यू विल बी किल्ड बिकॉज़ काउ इज आवर मदर इट इज द सेम एंड साध्वी प्राची of the bjp says if they take away one daughter you take away 100 daughters no i am asking a larger question here tonight bacche aapas mein kyun lad rahe hain ye aapko sochne ki zarurat hai everybody needs to sit and think about it why are they being segregated why are they if they are fighting with each other why are they fighting with each other why are they being segregated when there are politicians all around us making such bigoted comments kabhi bhi koi ghatna अच्छा तो बस आप जो है अपने नेताओं को बोल देते हैं पॉलिटिक्स कर भेदभाव करने की ड्यूटी नेताओं की है बच्चों की नहीं भी करती है पॉलिटिक्स और बीजेपी सबको साथ लेके मैं किसका पढ़ के सुना रही हूँ आपको ये बीजेपी के लोग हैं ये बीजेपी के लोग हैं मैं वापस से पढ़ के सुनाती हूँ आपको बच्चों को हम हम in the last two years, मैं हिस्ट्री की भी बात नहीं कर रही हूँ जैसे आप लोग चाहते हैं चालीस साल पुरानी बात करना मैं पिछले दो सालों की बात कर रही हूँ When you create a vitiated communal atmosphere, this is what you get, and this is what people then start implementing to impl to impress their bosses. I think it's high time your party now sits back and thinks about what you are doing to this country, Professor Rajiv Sharma. जब चारों तरफ हम यही बातें सुनेंगे तो बच्चे क्या सीखेंगे किसके कौन लेगा इसकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आज की हमने क्या अपने देश में क्या कम्युनल एटमोस्फेयर बना रखा है देखिए लेट मी लेट मी पुट टू थिंग्स इन इन ए वेरी क्लियर वे वन दैट वॉट एवर हैज हैपन इन द स्कूल कैन नॉट बी जस्टिफाइड इन एनी ग्राउंड एंड बाई एनी रीजन बाई एनी लॉजिक and i think this is a vitiated mindset of the person who has done it even if the children were fighting with each other it was the responsibility of the head of the institution to see as to why the children has come to such a stage and if they have come to such a stage the solution which the head of the institution provided was worse than worse than what was happening in the school number 1 number 2 it's a serious offense and a serious violation of law and the constitution to discriminate and segregate uh, the students on the basis of religion and uh, i appreciate the action taken by the department of education of the municipal corporation of delhi uh, by ordering not only the inquiry but placing the person concerned under suspension and i think the inquiry should be time bound and deterrent action should be taken against the person who has taken this uh, this step the third point which i would like to say is that uh, the the co-panelist who was speaking uh, a, a little ago in fact he was trying to play a dirty politics there are, there's no question of bjp or aam aadmi party or congress uh, propagating this kind of an issue 
this is the person who has taken a decision and deterrent action should be taken. Hmm. The, the, the political Perfect. parties should not bring in politics in every event, in every in accident, country, in or every kind of a, an action taken by a person. In a country a where person, the entire in, narrative, in person, Professor Raj no, madam, Veer, has become minute, about your minute. community versus mine, she, your caste versus mine, because that's all that politicians can think about in the run-up to the elections. I think it's highly naive of you to f believe that this is not happening, that the no, children no, that, are not that, differentiating that on the basis of, of religion let's that, let's let's no, no. at least let's at least own up I to think, the mistakes that you, we are you, making I and the kind of atmosphere we are creating for our children secondly professor rajveer i don't think we should be appreciating what the mayor or the corporation has done so far because that is the only thing they should be doing in this case how can you expect us to appreciate them for doing their job? No, else, it is their job. The what else would you think they would do? Me. Go and award and that man and reward that man for segregating children what on the what basis of religion. Can do except no, kya baba there, there, could be, there could be different dimensions to this action. There could be a political dimension to this और अगर किसी ने इस तरह का कोई एक किया है कोई काम किया है उसको हमने स्वीकार नहीं किया है उसको तुरंत ही उसको दंड दिया है दे आर दे आर सेइंग दैट इट इज द इट इज द बीजेपी हु हैज परहैप्स मेड अ पॉलिसी दिस इज द रॉन्ग काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट बीजेपी should not be ब्रॉट इन टू द पिक्चर एंड से असाइन दिस दैट इट इज अ मैटर ऑफ पॉलिसी इज इट कमल मित्र चौधरी इज अ पॉलिसी मैटर फॉर एनी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी even please, those please take who it, please uh, focus on what the voter mouths of bjp are saying on a daily basis professor rajveer and you will get your answer uh, uh, kamal mitra chanoy please look no, professor do you mind if someone else speaks professor do you mind if another professor speaks i think that a basic thing that should be done I, I, by I, I elder people earlier. who are teaching should be but to don't push bring in politics. which where you should try you haven't heard what i've said so why are you saying politics that's politics the basic thing should be that the various Dekhiye, principles is, of the constitution par bilkul politics nahi honi chahiye our politics aur is secular chanoi, is Gupta, democratic i'm coming to you next should not bring in just come on mr chanoi yes politics De yeah. i am not nahi. i don't agree with politics in schools in schools it is okay if those in the nigam and all that Try yeah. and work out a system that is their responsibility. But in the schools, we should try and Very make right. it as open-ended. Right. So not only is there no division, but people are able to stress that this is their point of view, and that is how these children will go. So I think the municipal schools, when they move in that direction, are no, doing a major gift to the people. by teaching them how to live together learn together work together and build a country together that is the whole idea so we should go irrespective of our political beliefs yes. into that kind yes. of uh, uh, kind of fact and i think Obviously if you right. compare us with other areas in asia and elsewhere our schools are not that bad so let us make sure that we continue to make secular and democratic schooling open to all and so that these incidences don't occur again and i think it is a good thing that this it time this was caught there. and we should try to ensure that in every school there is a fairly fair minded egalitarian system where everyone learns including the teacher yes mr adesh gupta please go ahead and make so that your already point already exists that already exists professor chanoy it has to exist more strongly that's the mess lesson from this school mr adesh gupta what were you saying go ahead please i don't think he can hear us right now uh, piyush pant has been patiently waiting please. by and i have not been able to go to him piyush pant what what is your view point on the conversation we are having right now can we really say that this is a one off incident <clears throat> purely because there was one principal who who thought the best way to make children stop fighting is to segregate them on the basis of religion uh oh, well it may look like uh, one uh, one strange incident but i think uh, there is a pattern in it because you know uh, if uh, I, i i will say that uh, or i will just point out that uh, Uh, there, there, there was a book very well documented uh, by uh, this uh, uh, 
this lady uh, mothering mothering a uh, Muslim by uh, na by Nazia uh, Nazia Aram. She has documented so many stories, even in Delhi schools. In in Delhi school, uh, uh, the elitist schools in Delhi. Uh, though she also pointed out the schools in in in, in Madhya Pradesh, particularly in Bhopal, how they how how they segregate on the basis of the language Urdu and uh, Sanskrit. But here in in Delhi schools also. So uh, there is segregation not in the physical sense but in behavioral sense. You know how 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 now the children uh, start asking their, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, their their fellow students, "Are you Muslim? Are you Muslim? Are you Pakistani?" And if they are Muslim, they say, "Well, are you uh, 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 you are a terrorist?" So these kind of so there are so many stories uh, where where this this thing is uh, happening is being created. And I think this is uh, we should we <coughs> must not overlook one fact that the principal of this particular school uh, was transferred, and in his place, the the person who was given the charge, uh, he implemented this segregation policy. And when he was uh, when when some 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 staff of the school protested against this to the teacher uh, the, that in charge, he just brushed them away and said that you do your work, uh, I will do my work. So I think I think we should not overlook the fact that there is a pattern. You know, there is a there is a pattern in all these incidents, and there has been an effort to just uh, uh, you know a, a sort of uh, make it a, a sense of is Islamophobia um, in our country and particularly in the, in, in the schools. Right. So that so I mean, let me start, take that point uh, across. Identifying the the students. Yes, uh, the, because you're talking about I mean, a larger by, by, by impact. Their and Mr. Yet, Adesh you, you Gupta start has to... them, you start branding them, and this is what is happening. Mr. Adesh Gupta, your responsibility, he is, he is, responsibility... He is totally off the mark. He is totally off the mark. He is not addressing the right issue, and you cannot generalize uh, one incident with all. Professor Rajvi, you really believe this is just one incident? Speak to anybody, sir, and they will give Hello? you examples of stories Can around them coming? where little children are actually turning around and pointing at green color and saying, oh, that's the color of Pakistan. Where little children are actually now asking about the religion, eating habits of various religions, and not in a positive sense. We have created an atmosphere all around us, starting from the politicians to the media, where everything has now come down to Hindu versus Muslim. It may benefit the politicians for their votes, but we're not realizing the impact that's going to have on children. They're supposed to wear uniforms and go to school and sit in a class, study and come back. Now, Mr. Adesh Gupta, do you have any plan in the counseling of the children? The children who were in three months in Hindu and Muslim dharam in the same class, they had to study in the same class. Do you have to do counseling? So that they don't forget to forget. Do you have any plan in this? Absolutely, absolutely. बिल्कुल प्लान बनाया है और लगातार हम इस स्कूल को विशेष निगरानी पे रखेंगे और भी स्कूलों में हमारी लगातार काउंसलिंग चलती रहती है और इस स्कूल को हम विशेष रूप से देखेंगे किसी भी तरह का हमारा मानना है कि बच्चों के अंदर कोई भी धर्म जाति के भेदभाव की भावना नहीं होनी क्या चाहिए क्या है आपका प्लान हम बिल्कुल उसके खिलाफ है स्कूल में पिछली बार काउंसिलिंग कब हुई थी और ये जो स्कूल के इंचार्ज है ये काउंसिलिंग कर रहे थे अगर अगर बिल्कुल नहीं बिल्कुल इसकी इसकी काउंसलिंग की जाएगी और जो और जो स्कूल से उनकी हम काउंसलिंग करते हैं लेकिन अगर यहाँ पर कोई चूक हुई है तो उसी के लिए हमने वहाँ पे जांच कमेटी बिठाई है क्योंकि जांच कमेटी की जो रिपोर्ट आएगी अभी हमने जिसको सस्पेंड किया है इसके आगे भी कोई भी शामिल होगा तो निश्चित रूप से उसके ऊपर भी कार्रवाई की जाएगी लेकिन उसी के पहले आपको ये समझ में आ गया की इसके पीछे पोलिटिकल कंस्पिरसी है नहीं मैं ये बिल्कुल आपको कह सकता हूँ कि अभी जो हमारी प्राइमरी जांच हुई है जिसके आधार पर जो चीजें दिख रही हैं उसमें हम इतना गहराई से नहीं जा सकते लेकिन जो हुआ वो बिल्कुल गलत हुआ है और उसी के खिलाफ मिस्टर बक आई एम रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम वेरी क्विकली गोइंग क्रॉस टू मिस्टर फिरोज uh, in 1947, India already got divided, you know, got partitioned once. Now, if this kind of uh, mindset continues, I am afraid 
that some people might try to divide India once again. So we have to be away from this kind of ghetto mindset. Yes. And these children, uh, you know, uh, let me also acknowledge the effort of the, this Mr. Gupta. Let us not, uh, in fact, belittle it. Whatever, what I appreciate is he has taken a very quick action and others should follow it. So what I, what I feel is that these people who are, uh, who are experts at uh, Hindu-Muslim Concord, all these things, they should visit the school, hmm. they should talk to the children, they should tell them to shake hands, they should not tell, uh, they, they, they should actually advise them uh, not to discuss each other on the basis of some green color or gerwa color or eating meat or not eating meat. We are a part of a family. Each and every classroom anywhere in India is a small India. So we have to, uh, we right. have to retain that, uh, uh, you know. Uh, yes, that no, connect. absolutely, we, we have to. We should not get lost. Uh, you know, 30 seconds to Akshay Marathe before I wrap up. Go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, there are two ways in which we can solve this problem. One is that what we can do is we need a more stringent monitoring mechanism in place. What we do in Delhi government schools is that uh, under the Right to Education Act, we have something called the school management committees, which are made up of members uh, who are parents of children studying in the same school. So there have been incidents even in Delhi government schools where there have been issues which have come up. And the SMCs have directly gotten in touch with the government and we have been able to nip these issues in the bud. So I think if the MCD is serious, if the BJP is serious about solving these problems, they should activate their school management committees, which are mandated in the Right to Education Act. Number two, uh, one of the other things that the Delhi government has done is we have instituted something called a happiness curriculum in which children are sensitized to the world around them. The children are made to feel, uh, made to uh, made self-aware about the world that they are living in. They are made to feel they are part of one community, one society. So if the BJP is serious, they should start a program like the happiness curriculum, even in their own MCD schools. Right. And that is the only way that they can atone for this because the two months that the children have been segregated, there, there has been a long-term impact on there their There would minds. have been an impact. So if they have and, to and be I, brought frankly, out of that, they as need the some BJP kind of uh, uh, And the MCD investigates this case and finds out what happened. There are a few things they need to keep in mind. Firstly, what is the biggest failure is the fact that they made an in, uh, a principal, somebody in charge of that school who had this mindset. There is no other explanation to it. Whether or not children were fighting on the basis of religion or anything else or what you eat and what I eat, and these conversations could happen as little children, he decided to segregate them on the basis of religion. The fact that this man could become in charge of principal of a school is shocking. Secondly, think about the impact on those little minds how they would have dealt with, what they would have thought this means and how they're going to then imbibe this in their own minds as they grow up. That needs to change, that needs to be overturned. There needs to be counselling given to these school children right away. And thirdly, most importantly, perhaps our political parties need to take a step back and think what they're doing to our country and to the future of our country. Stop dividing us in the name of religion. Stop making everything about religion. Stop highlighting the differences. Stop speaking about majority versus minority, left versus right, Hindu versus Muslim. Look at the color of the dress these children are wearing. It's a red and white check for everybody because that is their uniform. Because what we are being taught is that we are all same. We are not different. We are the same. Nobody else should be able to do, tell and teach our children anything else and any, anybody dares to do that should face strict consequences. Thank you for joining us on this debate. Move on to the other big story, the Me Too revolution that's taking place in our country. Now here is all that has happened today. At least three women have tweeted today against author and columnist Suhail Seth, alleging misconduct and inappropriate behavior. In one of the accounts, a film director has written that Suhail said forcibly kissed, groped and molested her. Another woman journalist has written saying that she had been publicly harassed and humiliated by Seth and that nobody did anything to stop him. That's story number one. Story number two. Actor Sandhya Mridul has leveled allegations against Alok Nath. She is the second woman to speak up about the Sanskari actor and she has revealed how Alok Nath entered her hotel room when he was drunk 
refused to leave the room and even lunged at her. She's spoken about the kind of torture that she went through for days together and if it wasn't for some of the crew members including now late Rima Lagu, things would have become a lot more difficult. All of them came forward to help her. Obviously, nobody spoke up about it publicly to accuse Alok Nath. This incident allegedly took place in Kodai Kanal when Alok Nath was playing Sandhya's father in a film. We have already uh, drafted a notice which has been issued to Alok Nath because Vintananda is also a very respectable member of, of, of Iftida. Uh, things, whatever is uh, happening, is been very seriously taken by the Federation. The Me Too revolution has hit the South film industry as well. Tamil lyricist, much known and acclaimed lyricist, Vaira Muthu's name has now emerged in the Me Too revolution. National award winning singer Chinmay Sripada alleged that Vaira Muthu asked her to visit him at his hotel room late at night while they were at an event in Switzerland in 2005. She says when she refused to cooperate with this man, she and her mother were sent back immediately to India. But instead of admitting that perhaps what happened was wrong, Vairamathu has responded, calling all of these allegations defamatory, resorting to shaming Chinmay Sripada. And this has become the start of the revolution in the South Indian film industry. We will take it up and put the fear of God into people by influence or money or power. They dare not what shall I say, crush children. And in what may be the first case of a woman alleging sexual harassment by another woman, at least the first high-profile case, comedian Kanis Surka has tweeted about an alleged case of harassment or assault rather by fellow comedian Aditi Mittal. Kanis's tweets alleged that while she was doing a show in Andheri in Mumbai, Aditi Mittal walked up on the stage and forcibly kissed her without her permission. Kanis has added that before tweeting about this, she even personally reached out to Aditi Mittal twice, demanding an apology. But when she didn't get that, she had to resort to making this information public. Let's move on to another allegation that has been leveled against writer Chetan Bhagat. In a WhatsApp exchange between journalist Sanjana Chauhan of Mirror Now and Chetan Bhagat, the writer can be seen making inappropriate remarks. This WhatsApp exchange between the two, Chetan Bhagat asked questions to Sanjana that were laced with sexual innuendos. But instead of admitting that they were these were wrong things to say to somebody who you've just met professionally, Chetan Bhagat resorted to shaming and naming Sanjana Chauhan and accusing her of seeking publicity. By putting out excerpts of erotic fiction, it is not an invitation to ask me about my sex life. Also, uh, if you want to ask somebody professional questions, tell them you're going to be asking them professional questions. Don't ask them what is the wildest thing they've done in bed. That is not the way to approach any woman or any professional or anybody over WhatsApp. Seven women now have spoken out against Minister MJ Akbar. The most detailed and horrifying account has been written by a journalist who worked as an intern under MJ Akbar in the 90s. She has claimed she was repeatedly assaulted and molested by MJ Akbar in his cabin for over six months. Eventually, she had to quit her job because there was no other way out, she claims. So far, neither the external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj nor the MOS himself, who is right now traveling abroad, have responded to any of the allegations by these seven ladies. In fact, this is a big story. And after these seven women came out and spoke up about what MJ Agbar allegedly did when he was a top editor, a journalist, Saba Nakhvi also took to writing a piece about her own experience. And she's joining us live now on this show. Saba, you've written a detailed piece which is more about how you escaped and how you survived a bacha of an editor. Could you take us through what you saw and experienced in those days? As I've written, uh, uh, Tanvi, in Delio, I was a trainee. I was like all of 20 years and I was my first job. I was in a new city called Calcutta, where Mr. Akbar was this 
considered God's gift to journalism. And uh, uh, so I landed up there. And uh, uh, but at some point, he set his sights on the new trainee. And uh, so there were inappropriate things that happened, which were building up to something. Before anything could happen, I left. Uh, I left because I realized I had a very good circle of friends who I made very quickly at a young age. Everybody knew what was happening. It seemed that this was what happened in the Telegraph. And that was the culture that this, uh, this uh, editor was this uh, genius who had created a new paper. But he uh, picked on women, some uh, more equal, some young like I was, some more equal in age to him. And that was it. So I was just the latest in the group. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I was from a big city. I had a lot of friends who were constantly uh, doing things like, today the boss is here, so would you just you know keep a low profile kind of thing was going on over there. I managed to evade the man. And I got away uh, you know, when I uh, came back to Delhi, jobless at that time, whatever. But uh, in the light of the Me Too uh, movement, when such horrifying testimonies are coming out about worse things that Mr. Akbar did, uh, I felt it was my I'm duty to speak out as a woman, as a mother, and uh, my daughter is a uh, little younger than what I was at the age when I went to live as a paying guest, so that I could learn at the feet of Mr. Akbar. And uh, I had no doubt that I was dealing with a very advanced sexual predator at that time. And uh, my suspicion as a young girl has only been confirmed by what the testimonies you are reading right now of women who underwent far worse than what I did. Yeah. And, um, you know, I appreciate uh, you speaking out uh, uh, because it's going to help a lot more women come out and narrate their instances and just, just to think about and imagine this is how so many working women really spend their life uh, where they are actually running and hiding from sexual predators at work and if there is no other way out then they end up quitting and walking away because there is no other option. So I appreciate what you're doing today, Savanakwi. Should he go away as a minister? Should he quit? Should he step down? Is there any other option in front of the government? Of course he should. I mean, uh, if the government, the BBC has apparently reported on this. Now you have a Minister of State for External Affairs and he's being charged in the democracy that is India of being a serial uh, sexual offender. I've had somebody, uh, some foreign channels have asked me, now I don't have the time because I'm going away to Japan day after for a seminar over there on politics, thankfully. And uh, I'm going, I don't have that much time to respond to all the people who have uh, spoken, uh, you know, who have reached out for a conversation on this. But I hope we have started a dialogue. I hope, my real hope, Tanvi, is that this will deter more male bosses in my profession, which is the media. And more than anything else, over the years, I've heard very troubling accounts from women in the regional press, in the vernacular press. Now, you know, the situation uh, is like this. In a patriarchal order, uh, you don't speak out against a man. You're in a small town. You probably uh, had a st struggle to work there. There are not so many jobs going around. And, uh, you know, so once you start speaking out, you're considered a trouble. This girl is very hai. You know, men will label a woman as hysterical or ambitious or telling lies. I mean, you go to a regional newsroom, it's entirely uh, male-dominated and so are national newsrooms actually. All the bosses are males. But that's not the point here. But this has happened in the English media press so far. The impact, it's not hit the regions where, believe me, it will be awful. In every profession, women will be subjected uh, to uh, bullying, to sexual, inappropriate sexual uh, gestures by men. Because it's, we live in a patriarchal world where men think they can get away with it. And this is how they, ha, they just behave. Their fathers behave like this, so they think they can behave like this. So, there are some very, very good men, and there are some men who are just inclined to be like this. Well, just like I hope that this revolution actually goes from urban India and uh, big metros to smaller cities, uh, I also hope that this revolution goes from national media to even regional media. Thank you so much, Sabha Nakhvi, for speaking up and for speaking to us. Right. Right. Absolutely. All right. So that's where we're going to leave the things tonight with the Me Too revolution.
is not going to stop anytime soon. All those men, sexual perverts, molesters, rapists, beware. You're next. Your name will be out soon. Thank you for joining us.